The Indian Space Research Organization is gearing up for GSLV and VS-1 Navic uh, satellite launch. Looks like there's been a downpour there, but that's not stopping the space enthusiasts, youngsters from schools, colleges who have gathered there. And it's heartening to see the number of space enthusiasts at Sri Harikota to witness the launch. The team of scientists tracking the latest. Let's dip in for a while to understand what's happening. Based on liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, stored at cryogenic temperatures as propellants. This stage operates for 13.5 minutes and increases the relative velocity of the rocket from 4.7 km per second to 9.7 km per second. The satellite NVS-01 is injected at an altitude of 251.5 km with a relative velocity of 9.7 km per second. Let me remind the viewers that the geosynchronous transfer orbit of NVS-01 has a perigee of 170 kilometers, which is how far the satellite will be at a point nearest to the Earth and apogee or the farthest point from Earth of 36,744 kilometers nominally. Thrust burns of the satellite will then take it to the geostationary orbit. So the spacecraft is part of the navigation with Indian constellation, the abbreviation NAVIC, and it's a series. It will aim to provide monitoring and navigational capability. Remember, these are because these are Indian uh, indigenous aircrafts that are being made. It is also about how the Indian Space Research Organization is pushing its merit to ensure that we can come at power with uh, the global space missions. And that's about three minutes away, this so I would like to stay on this big story. NBS it's important as much to cover these uh, issues, which is uh, about the Indian space missions one by one. Remember, in the past few months, there have been GSLV launches of different kinds that have been put into the orbit. This one specifically will be terrestrial, aerial and marine transportation. It will have location-based services. There will be personal mobility resource monitoring, survey and uh, scientific research. There will be dissemination and synchronization of the information. So they will be in touch with the ground stations and safety of life alert dissemination as well. The mission is expected to last 12 years and is being launched with an indigenous developed rubidium atomic clock that will be attached this time from the Space Application Center. It's very interesting to see about how this is uh, unfolding and we'll go on the ground in just a short while, staying on with these visuals on one side, remember, the hard work of many of these scientists for many months. And this is, of course, the GSLV NVS-01 that you're looking at will be launched in just about the next two minutes. Shilpa Nair, quickly, before that countdown begins, uh, Shilpa, this is going to be very interesting because uh, it, is, it will help us in our space capabilities as well, isn't it? Uh, well, absolutely, Pooja. In fact, uh, yet another prestigious launch as far as the ISR is concerned. Uh, this time around, it's a GSLV, uh, you know, that will be carrying an NVS satellite, NVS-01. Uh, that is the name of the satellite that the GSLV will be carrying and placing in intended orbit. Uh, just few more minutes, a uh, few more seconds left for the launch uh, of the GSLV uh, S12. Uh, in fact, uh, the mission director uh, uh, and ISRO chairman S. Somnath, SDSC director Rajarajan, LPSC director V. Narayanan are present at the mission control complex, and members of the public, including children, are seated at the viewing gallery. Uh, you know, and they're all holding umbrellas because the temperatures, of course. Are soaring. It is around 34 degrees Celsius. So members of the public uh, who have a very keenly interested in watching the uh, liftoff or the launch of the GSLV, they are also seated at the viewing gallery. And the mission director, of course, had authorized the launch of this navigation satellite. Uh, and in just a few seconds from now, uh, it will uh, take off. Uh, Ms. Shreya, because we are in that final stage of the countdown, and this is ISRO prepping before... Uh, remember, this is just a part. The big launch will be of the biggest missions of the year, Chandrayaan-3. Before that, so let's uh, stay on now. Minus 25 seconds. VS2 VSPP open. Minus 20 seconds. Minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, 
zero plus five seconds. L lift off normal. Ajwalan or Safalta Poon Uthapan GSLV F12 ka. Charo L40s Tatha Core Booster S139. अपना सामान्य निष्पादन करते हुए उद्देश्य कक्षा की ओर अग्रसर। Nominal launch of the GSLV F12 mission. The rocket flying by spewing fire into the clear sky of Sri Harikota. GS1 and L40 is together thrusting currently. The shard ground station is currently tracking. Sharvan Menato plus Shatu is in Menato. Pertaman me Pratham Charan Prajolith hai. Iska Karyakal Lagbag ek so the second ka hoga. Isme Charazar art so kilonewton ka pronoz pan hota hai. Peto Changra water acibate to the core hundred and thirty nine motor will. Continue to burn for 110 seconds while the L40 is continued to the burn First for a total of 150 normal. seconds. Thrust developed by the GS1 S139 motor is 4815 kilonewtons while each of the L40s develops 762.5 kilonewtons. प्रथम चरण को कट ऑफ कर दिया गया है L40 अभी भी प्रज्वलित है This is a confirmation for the S139 burnout L40 is still developing thrust कुछ क्षणों में हम देखेंगे द्वितीय चरण का प्रज्वलन तथा प्रथम चरण का प्रतिकन करंट ऑल्टीट्यूड इज 67 किलोमीटर्स 40 स्टेजेस थ्रस्ट कट ऑफ स्टेज सेपरेटेड सेकंड स्टेज इग्नाइटेड जी हां द्वितीय चरण का प्रज्वलन शुरू हो चुका है जैसा निर्धारित था और प्रथम चरण को यान से पृथक कर दिया गया है the second stage has ignited and the first stage has been separated from the ongoing launch vehicle. Currently, Shah station is tracking. Plus three minutes. Ji haan, yaan poonata nirdharit pat ko anukarna karta hua ja raha hai aur dhutiye charan bhi samanya nishpadan kar raha hai. Is charan ka kul karya ka lagbag 140 second ka hooga. इस दौरान यह 846 किलो न्यूटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न कर यान को करीब 130 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तक ले जाएगा। High thrust Vikas engine developing a nominal vacuum thrust of 846 किलो न्यूटन्स। Vikas engine is a pump-fed engine। Second stage performance normal। Of UH25 as fuel and N2O4 as oxidizer। Plus four minutes. Load fairing separated. क्योंकि यान घने वातावरण से बाहर जा चुका है, इसलिए उष्मा कवच की आवश्यकता नहीं रह गई है, और इसलिए इसे यान से पृथक कर दिया गया है। Two major flight events have taken place in recent past. The initiation of closed loop guidance. And the separation of payload fairing. Performance normal. Currently, the vehicle is going as per the predicted trajectory. Shar and Port Blair stations currently Stage tracking. Organized. Duti ye charan samanya nishpadan karte huye yan ko dish kaksha ki or le jata hua. Stage 
Indian state plus separate. Five minutes. First ignition is commanded. द्वितीय चरण को कट ऑफ के बाद में यान से पृथक कर दिया गया है और अंतिम चरण क्रायो अपर स्टेज का प्रज्वलन शुरू हो चुका है क्रायोजेनिक अपर स्टेज हैज कमेंस्ड इट्स ऑपरेशन द नॉमिनल बर्न ड्यूरेशन फॉर क्रायो स्टेज इज मोर देन थर्टीन मिनट्स Nominal thrust of the cryogenic upper stage is seventy-three point nine seven kilonewtons, while the operated thrust is eighty-three point three four kilonewtons. The cryogenic propellants have a specific impulse of four hundred and fifty-three point five seconds. तृतीय चरण जिसे हम cryo upper stage के नाम से जानते हैं यह बहुत ही जटिल इंजन होता है. इसलिए यहां काफी तालियों के साथ गड़गड़ाहट हम सुन सकते हैं जब तृतीय चरण का प्रज्वलन शुरू हुआ कोई भी त्रुटि की कोई गुंजाइश नहीं होती है अंतरिक्ष मिशन में जैसा कि आपको बताया गया यह मिशन पूर्वी दिशा का दिशा का मिशन है इसलिए हमारे ग्राउंड स्टेशन चार तथा पोर्ट ब्लेयर स्थित भू स्टेशन इसके इसे ट्रैक कर रहे हैं तृतीय चरण का निष्पादन सामान्य और यान अपने उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर बढ़ता हुआ जा रहा है अब हम प्रमोचन से 405 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं ऊंचाई 145 किलोमीटर तथा सापेक्ष गति 5 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड प्लस सेवन वी आर मोर देन 400 सेकंड्स पास्ट द लॉन्च टाइम करेंट ऑल्टीट्यूड ऑफ द लॉन्च व्हीकल इज अंड्रेड इन 46 kilometers and the relative velocity 5.14 kilometers per second let me describe to the viewers in the meantime the description of the satellite taking ride in this mission navigation services using indian constellation of satellites provides accurate real time positioning and timing services over india cryo stage performance normal 1500 kilometers around india the indian regional navigation satellite system irnss goes by an operational name navic the launch of irnss 1a took place in july 2013 mm. and with the launch of irnss 1i in april 2018 the constellation of Plus navic with first generation of satellites that is three in remember it's not just about the launch that you're looking at it's about different phases as well and that also need to be tra tracked uh, closely till it is in the orbit and that's why the scientists are constantly up updating about the mission and about different phases of the launch here on let's go across to shilpa nair for the latest on this shilpa there have been uh, several of these missions on which we've had this conversation and it's good to see space enthusiasts also specifically youngsters tracking the latest on that how important is this indigenous mission and the next generation satellite it's part of the navic series shilpa the heart of the navigation uh, well for as far as the navic satellite is concerned the key applications of it include terrestrial aerial and maritime navigation uh precision agriculture geodetic surveying and emergency services uh, and it also of course provides location based services in wild devices or uh, orbit orbit determination for satellites and marine fisheries and timing services for financial institutions so clearly you know looking at the uh, uh, different uh, you know different uh, uh, specifications uh, of uh, this application uh, this satellite of course is extremely important as far as Uh, uh, the uh, you know strategic applications are concerned it, it it will be used for government agencies as well uh, but as of now uh, you know as far as the launch is concerned uh, the rocket will be scheduled to deploy the satellite in a geosynchronous transfer orbit uh, nearly 20 minutes after the flight that is the reason why we are seeing uh, the mission of course still going on uh, despite the gsmb rocket taking off few minutes back uh, the total flight time is around 20 minutes but so far uh, this uh, 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 you know looking at the parameters and from what we're picking up 
from the command center uh, everything is normal every stage uh, you know it has been performing normally is what the scientists at isro have been uh, you know saying through the command center that is the uh, instructions that we're getting as well uh, and uh, the uh, the satellite of course will be placed at an altitude of about 251 km uh, that is what the isro has said uh, as far as uh, this particular mission is concerned uh, and of course Uh, like you rightly pointed, a lot of space enthusiasts, a lot of young kids have uh, come to the viewing gallery uh, because every time I sort of uh, launches a satellite, every time they launch a rocket, uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of excitement, uh, and that is the reason why many. Yes, of therefore, of it becomes also a reason for youngsters, specifically for school and college going uh, students as well, to to take more interest in India's space missions. Remember, school students even had made the Azadi Sat satellite that was being. Launched into space, it had issues, but at least it was a learning lesson. Now, this one that you are looking at had the growing requirements of the civil aviation sector for better positioning, navigation, and timing. Let's listen in to the tracking of the phases of the launch. Indian constellation ke istab na ki gayi. Navik ko Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System (IRNS) ke naam se bhi jana jata hai. Navik ko saat ugraon ke nakshatr ke saath design kiya gaya hai. इस नक्षत्र के तीन उपग्रह भूस्थानीटर्सिटिकॉमीटर्सिटिकॉमीटर्सिटिकॉमीटर्सिटिकॉमीटर्सिटिकॉमीटर्सिटिकॉमीटर्सिटिकॉमीटर्सिटिक